I think we've officially reached that point that really falls between all of the major updates in Call of the Wild. Generally speaking, we get two new maps per year, one every six months, give or take, and we're kind of in that in-between stage right now. And it is during that stage that, at least in my opinion, it's best to kind of go out and look for some of those things that maybe get placed on the back burner through most of the year as we're hunting things that relate to the new content. Now, admittedly, we could have ended up reaching this point a lot earlier if not for the fact that we were grinding for the Great One as long as we were. Not going to complain about that, though. 84.7 Pronghorn to start, and really we're out here on Silver Ridge Peaks in multiplayer today for a couple of different reasons. There's a few things that I'd love to get that are ones that I've kind of put off grinding for. I really would love to get a Melanistic Merriam's Turkey Gobbler. We got one hen back in the day, and for a long time, really since the release of the map, I wanted a Diamond Dark Pronghorn. That is the dark fur type there. Obviously, at level 3, he is nowhere near Diamond, but I just think they look cool, and it'd be a nice thing to add to the Trophy Lodge. At this point, we don't really have a full body platform to put one on, and they don't look different enough from the shoulders forward to to really make a difference. I don't know if that's something I want to grind for, but I'd still love to get it just because it was that goal that really has kind of been in place for almost two years now. And it may be wishful thinking, but there's always the hope that new multi-mounts could get added. I guess there is kind of like more dark fur above the eyes and going down the nose, so it would still look cool on the wall, even if it was just a shoulder mount. But whether it ends up being in a multi-mount that may come out someday or on the wall, it's one that I want to get, and we're not going to get it if we don't spend more time out here on the map. And since we're just seeing examples of similar things to what I want to actually find out here, a nice size Rocky Mountain Elk. It's the light gray fur type as well, which is my favorite one, and it kind of goes along a different line. That diamond challenge coming up confused me for a second, but there are certain rares in Call of the Wild that are just incredibly hard to find, and I do think the albino Rocky Mountain Elk is one of those rares. I'd love to grind for one. I don't know if it's something that would be very easily attainable, especially given that they only have very brief drink times, but if we ever could find a nice albino, I just think that would be one of the coolest things we could add to the lodge as well. And again, if we're not going to grind for it, what it comes down to is just spending time on the map, whether it is in single player or multiplayer, so we can at least have a chance since we're out here. In the meantime, a nice 402 level 4, kind of an uneven one, but not bad. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what I'm doing up here. To be completely honest, if there's one thing we don't really need on this map, it is Mountain Goats and Mule Deer. I guess there's a Mule Deer diamond rack or two that we don't have, but even one of the ones that we didn't have for quite some time we recently got on a stream, and as far as Mountain Goats go, we got our Melanistic and we've got three different diamond fur types. There is one that we're missing, but I mean, it led to a pretty nice buck, so no complaints. I do think as well that some level 4 Mule Deer now should have a chance of being Diamond. 195 kg, not bad. I actually didn't think it was going to be that big. There's another rack very similar to this that I think has an extra sticker, and that rack used to sometimes get up in that kind of 312, 313 area, and Diamond used to be 314 I believe. So I'm thinking, I haven't seen one yet, but it should be possible for level 4s to make it, and Honestly, that rack is one of my absolute favorites. Rarely do you get a level 5, usually they end up trolling anyway, but with that rack, I mean, I want to shoot every 4 and 5 that's got it just in case. Well, that's pretty neat. I think it's an albino, and of course it is just a level 1 female pronghorn, but we haven't had one in a while. And go figure, you know, we're looking for a variation of pronghorn, one that's not that rare. Maybe, you know, if you were to combine the odds of being a diamond and a dark, it could be similar, but that's just going to step out in front of us. We'll take that shot with a 7 mil. And, you know, that that's kind of why a lot of times we'll come out to a map with no particular goal in mind. That's something I feel like I say fairly often in intros. We're just hunting a map with nothing in particular that we're going after. Because so often in the Hunter Call of the Wild, you find stuff that you're not looking for. And that's why... I'll try to focus on other things in hopes of stumbling into what I actually want to find. I would say that is an albino looking at the white feet there. 
I'm not sure if we've ever had a proper albino pronghorn, and I say that because the old albinos had like a, I, I think they had partially the leucistic uh, texture or whatever you would call it, or maybe it was just the leucistic in general. Like they had that darker fur up on the nose and by the eyes, kind of like the dark fur type. But uh, I believe leucistics were not showing up correctly at all back when we actually shot the ones that were albino but looked different. And I'm pretty sure that's the first time we're actually seeing one since they fixed it. Well, it's certainly not one of the things that we came here for, but I do believe that is a Bigghorn's level 5 Bighorn, which is kind of odd to say. But uh, these mule deer are fleeing a mountain lion. So, what I'm guessing is going to happen if we don't get a shot off is that the Bighorn will flee as well. I wouldn't mind getting a shot when he's standing still, especially if he's going to trot like that. We're probably, I don't know, 200 out? He's attentive. Maybe we're best just trying to get a shot. He's just going alert. That was the chance we were looking for. I'm glad we waited. 162 to 183. That's a heck of an estimate. I forget Diamond's 164-ish, so he could be pretty good. Not quite sure what fur type it is, but I think it might be one that we already have. 165, actually, he's not nearly as big as I thought. Just barely made it. I was certain those were the bigger horns, but it's actually like the, the smaller set. At least it made Diamond. Would have been real unfortunate if they had trolled, but... It is the brown fur type. I really want to get a black fur type diamond. I think they look really cool. But for now, we'll take a solid, definitely lower than expected scoring brown fur type. I did actually think as well of another thing that I'd like to find, and Silver Ridge Peaks isn't the only map where we could get it, but now that blonde and cinnamon and brown black bears are actually rares, I'd love to get one of those for the lodge, and kind of much like the dark diamond pronghorn that I want to get, I don't know what we would do with it, because unless we were to get a super rare, which is highly unlikely, I want to have at least one diamond of everything displayed in the lodge, and I guess we could put a black bear on the wall. Generally, I'm not a huge fan of the predator mounts uh, for the wall mounts, but maybe in that case I'd make an exception. I really do want to get a rare black bear somewhere, and you know, any of the past ones that we have, when we shot them, they weren't rare, so I don't really consider that uh, something that I want to display in the lodge. And yet, yeah, I mean, normally I'll check the Silver Ridge Peaks uh, hotspots, I guess you'd call them for Black Bear during their drink time, and maybe one day it'll happen. For now, though, we have a goal scoring Dusky Black Bear, and I know I've mentioned this, but they kind of changed all of the names for the fur types. This is the one that used to be called. Black fur type, I think, and it was the one that I wanted a diamond of, but we ultimately had one in the trophy lodge and I just didn't know about it anyway. I'm not sure if this has actually been the case, but it feels like this hunt has been just all over the place. Hopefully it's not as bad as it seems like, but it's almost as if we've been just jumping from species to species and not having nearly as much of a, a specific focus as we normally do. I don't know if this black bear is ever going to actually stand. I mean, it says he is alert. He should. Maybe not. I mean, if we need to take the shot while he's kind of standing normally, we can take it. I was sure he was going to stand on his back legs, but he went to alarm like he was going to take off there. But at least with a level 7, that will be a guaranteed goal. 20.3 for that guy. Dusky fur type again. And I guess we'll go back maybe to the second trophy lodge for our pronghorn and our bighorn. I'm not sure if we have either species at all rare or diamond or anything in those lodges. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if an albino pronghorn female really belongs on the wall. That's probably more of a uh, platform thing. I'm actually just thinking though, there might be an albino pronghorn in here. Yeah, so when we shot this, it had that like darker fur by the nose like I mentioned, but now it's got the, the proper skin. I really like it. That'd be a cool thing, and honestly, there's no reason for this to not be in the main lodge outside of the fact that I just didn't think, kind of in the same way as this female over here, it doesn't fill the wall very well, being that the horns on a pronghorn obviously aren't all that big, especially when they're not in that diamond kind of class, but I don't know. 
I might move that and put it in the main lodge. I'm pretty sure that would have been a new scoring system thing. I, I want to say Silver Ridge Peaks, all the animals were a new scoring system. But anyway, over here on the other side, we did place our Diamond Bighorn as well. I'm sure there are other Diamond Bighorn that aren't placed, but for now at least we have one back here with the uh, multi-mount of Melanistic Whitetail that were piebald at the time that we shot them. I still can't believe he's only 165, but like I said, I'm just glad he would have made diamond. It, it would have been a disappointment if he ended up being a troll when I was thinking he was a guaranteed diamond and a big one at that. But anyway, I think that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.